already this year there's been some pretty amazing entries. I guess one that's really, really caught my attention was a wombat. It looks quite large in the picture. They're calling it a double chock wombat. It's covered in this fondant icing. It's doing a poo. So there's this peppermint fudge poo coming out the rear end. It's drinking from a sugar glass pond and it's got this sort of bicky or cookie background. So it's an absolute work of art. It's a sculpture. There's, there's been some pretty cool little cupcakes of swift parrots and other little birds like that. But I also saw this morning, I think it was a southern right whale, so it's tail flipping out of the water out of this beautiful cake which is meant to be the ocean. We've got a fantastic panel of judges this year. First of all, we've got Catherine um, Sabbath, who's a baker extraordinaire and an ex-school teacher, so really well positioned to be um, promoting the Bake Off. We've got Brad Mogridge, who's an associate professor at the, at the University of Canberra, who specialises in, in water science. And we've also got Dr. Beck West. Bake Off was her brainchild initially. And then I'm one of the judges as well. So the Threatened Species Commissioner is usually one of the judges in the Bake Off. So the four of us will get together when submission close on the 8th of September and then we've got the very difficult task of, of looking through what will be many hundreds of entries. The competition is open to absolutely anybody. You do not have to have any baking skills. And as you'll see, if you look online, there's some pretty, um, what we would call half ass cakes online as well. A favorite one that we really love in the office is the Twix, which is a legless lizard, the Twix bar with a couple of eyes stuck on it. There's a lot of different sort of purposes for, for running a Bake Off like this. One of the main ones is to raise awareness. We have over 800 threatened species and Australia has just a huge range of, of unique animals and plants, um, species which are found nowhere else in the world, but a lot of these are threatened. So the Bake Off raises awareness of these threatened species. So that's one purpose. But the other purpose is to provide an opportunity for, for many of the community members and the organisations who are doing a lot of the hard yards to recover our species every year so people will make a creation, bake a cake that represents the species that they're working to recover and it's a way to help them celebrate and, and share the good work that they're doing and the outcomes for those plants and animals.